dia, bom dia, everybody. Tudo bem? Muito bom. <laughs> now, here we are in one of the, probably the highest rated, most recommended mm -hmm. restaurant in our whole Brazil trip. Right. I will admit that I am about half asleep because whenever we go to a restaurant that you guys recommend, we always eat a lot of food. So I have not eaten in like 24 hours. <laughs> I've really prepared my stomach for a lot of good food. I trust your recommendations. Please keep the recommendations coming because although we can't go to every restaurant, if we get a lot of recommendations of one restaurant or one city or one place, we will do it. So here we are at a restaurant called Shapuri. Sapuri. Sapuri with an X. X, yeah. Shapuri. Does it mean anything, by the way? I'm not sure what it means. It's a good question. But it's supposed to be a very traditional restaurant. I mean, you can see from the design of the restaurant, the, I don't know, what the roofs is from? Like uh, almost some kind like of grass. grass. Yeah, some kind of grass. It looks very traditional. It looks really pretty. It's full of people, so it should be popular and should be good. Uh -huh. So we cannot wait to try the Mineros food. Mineros food. Okay, next stop we're gonna order, and then I'm gonna take you guys on a little walk because they're kind of outdoors and kind of indoors, as you can see. Uh -huh. And so we'll explore the property and we will uh, show you the kitchen. I think there's a wood stove burning. Yeah. But like I said, let's order our food first. Uh, hopefully the waiter can help us order. Yeah. We're gonna go uh, to the restaurant because of the audience and the food because of the uh, Everything uh, looks so good. Thank God. Their menu is from a phone and they have English menu, so Muito it's bom. good. Okay, you ready? Uh, which one is good? Uh, Muito bom. Well, Muito bom. Um, I say recommend. Your favorite. Recommendation. Very typical. Um, a costelinha da Siá. Ribs. 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 Oh. This or... Wow. This restaurant is totally massive and totally packed. And I'm actually getting vibes of the really delicious restaurant we were in in Brasov, Romania. But here is the kitchen. Definitely traditional. Wood fire with big logs sticking out. And some very hard at work people with pots of beans and sausages hanging. And wow, I am getting hungry. Oh, my bong, I'm getting very hungry. I tell you what, Ivana, sort of reminds me of the place in Romania, Brasov. Do you remember the name? Yes, Stana Turistica. Stana Turistica. <laughs> sort of traditional. I love the vibe here. Yeah, the vibe is sort of half indoors, half outdoors, and all of the vertical supports and horizontal supports are all made from wood. Very uh, reminiscent of Stana Turistica in Romania with different materials, obviously. Yeah. Different uh, jungle, different forest, different grass, but I'm excited for the food because that was our favorite restaurant in all of Romania. Yeah, that's right. And here we are, maybe our favorite restaurant in Brazil. Let's see. Let's see. Quite the bong. Oh. Ooh. Turismo. Turismo. Si. Muito bom. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, it's two pieces. Yeah. And it's got the lime on top. Oh my gosh, Ivana. Wow. So guys, this is pork fat and pork skin and a little bit of pork meat fried in a crispy and salty way. It's pork belly. So good. Very good, Ivana. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, let's try it. Muito, muito, oh my muito. God, it's a big piece, fat piece of Torresmo here. So it looks very juicy and delicious. Let's try. <laughs> Uh, actually, this is gonna be so good, and the lime juice is just the right flavor. Mm -hmm. I already know. I mean, the skin itself is like crispy, but it's not hard. It's like everything melts in your mouth. You know what I mean? Yo, Sometimes, this, is, this is one of those times where I can't actually wait. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes pork skin can be crispy and hot at the same time, but this one crispy and melts in your mouth. Ah. And the fat of the pork, oh my goodness. Mmm. It's muito bom. Wow. Wow, wow. What do you think? Mmm. 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 
Is it fried? Mm -hmm. It's fried, right? The skin is definitely fried and crackling, mm -hmm. very crunchy. But the meat is so soft and tender. Pork belly is so good. It's yeah. almost amazing that bacon is world famous. Yes. Everyone knows bacon is the best. I think pork belly is better than bacon. I think so too. Pork belly is so good. This is very This is good. absolutely five star eating. Wow. This is incredible. Already. Food. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> and what I like about it is that um, mm. it's not too salty. It's just the right amount of saltiness. Mm. They know how to make it perfect. Look at the layer, layer of meat yeah. and fat and meat and fat and the crispy skin. It's got oh a good gosh. crunch as well as juicy. Uh, juicy and uh, crunchy. Mm -hmm. mm. And lime on top. Juicy, crunchy, salty, and a bit sour from the lime. Mm -hmm. This has it all. Five star. <laughs> All right, so we've ordered my unga cerveja. Unga because cerveja beer is a feminine word. Okay. Not to be confused with draft beer, chopi, which is a masculine word and therefore requires a different version of the number one. Which is? You would order my unga cerveja or my sung chopi. Ah, okay. I will say this: this local beer, muy bueno. Which Moito I think boa. is <laughs> Moito Boa. Shout out, to, shout out to Portuguese for being very hard to learn. <laughs> You're the chef today. I like his shirt. Wow. <laughs> Cachaza, rice, eggs, and, and noodles. Sausage. And sausage, sausage. Fazer um convite em português. Olá, Canadá, venham pro Chapuri. Yes, come to Sapuri. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Muito bom. Uh, obrigado. 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 That was so funny. This fellow just walked over and he says, How you doing? And I says, No falo português. I said, No falo português. <laughs> and he's talking to me more. And he says, I'm the chef. I said, Oh, quick video, quick video. <laughs> that was so funny. I think he's just making rounds, just checking yeah. in on everybody. I think so. Wow. Very attentive. You know the food's good when the chef is coming out to make sure everything's uh, just right. checking in. Yes. Very attentive. And he's not the only one very attentive. The staff here are amazing. Mm -hmm. We've got staff almost running behind us. Like yes. Olympic speed walking with food in their hands. They walk so fast. Uh, hard working and attentive. Yes. Obrigado. All right. Just like that, we've got our stewed chicken, let's say. Minas chicken. Minas chicken, and we've got uh, five or six sides here. Yeah. Okra. I don't know what this is. Okra. Green. Uh, green veggies. Green veggies. Oh, potatoes. Some kind of sauce. Potatoes. Oh, I don't know. Rice. Tutu and beans. eggs. Beans and eggs and uh, toesmo and kale, I think. Very nice. Okay, let's try it and eat. Woo! The screen is steaming. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Look at this. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh gosh. Best food vlogger ever. <laughs> Throws the food across the room. All right, so I've done my best to try and plate this food properly, but I'm not even sure what some of the ingredients are. So I might have totally plated it improperly. That being said, I am feeling very gentlemanly today. And I think Ivana. I get to eat first today. First. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Let's dig into the chicken because it looks so good. Mm. Oh my goodness. <coughs> oh my gosh, it does look good. Wow. Very flavorful. Mm. It almost tastes like there is soy sauce in it. We're just kind of weird, no? Oh my gosh, Ivana is tasting her Asian heritage. Because normally in Southeast Asia, if a chicken is brown in color like this, normally there is soy sauce. But I doubt there is soy sauce in a mineral cuisine. 
It's very good, very tasty. Um, uh, let's try and discover if this is mashed potatoes or sauce. Sure. Go ahead. It looks a bit like uh, mashed taters. Maybe but you're supposed to eat it with the chicken. Hmm. Very creamy. Hmm. You know what it is? What is it? I think it's just flour. Like cochina. It is like a liquid form of cochina. Liquid cochina. Yeah, cochina. Liquid cochina. Maybe you're supposed to mix it with chicken. Oh, maybe it goes on the chicken. It's chicken sauce. Mm. Mm. It goes so well with the chicken. Mm. <laughs> it tastes very creamy, almost like there is cheese in it too. Mm. Is it uh, is it polenta? No. Mamaliga? No. I think it's just flour. Flour. Yeah. Okay. Like cochina. It tastes like cochina. Yeah, do me a big favor, Ivana, and hit the one that you said was beans and toesmo. Mm. Yeah. Because that sounds very delicious. Beans, toesmo, and egg. Here. I got the eggs. I got the beans. Beans, toesmo, and eggs. And I got the toesmo all together. Oh, look at this bite. Mm. Let's try this one. There's a big bite. Hit it, Ivana. Don't be shy. You're a growing girl, okay? <laughs> you look you look a bit confused. <laughs> the beans almost taste smoky. It's like a bean puree. Okay. Mixed with the eggs, makes it really creamy. I mean, the beans itself is already creamy. Yeah. Mixed with the eggs, it's really creamy. And then the tohesmo, it's like just the skin. I don't know if it's a tohesmo. Just the uh -huh. pork skin makes it crispy, so there's a balance of creamy softness and crispiness. And the saltiness is just right. Cre Very good. Creamy, salty, crispy. Oh, love it. Sounds uh, moito bong moito or bong. potentially moito mm. boa. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> the kale. Ooh. This is one of my favorite vegetables in Brazil. It's very common. You can find it, I think, in any kilo restaurants, any buffet, any uh -huh. Brazilian restaurants. Every actually. meal almost. Every meal you yeah. have this. Green stuff. Okay. Kale. Muito bom. Ivana, so I have to it. eat now. Mm -hmm. I will say, now that we've learned that this is just a flour sauce for the chicken, putting a puddle like this was the wrong idea. <laughs> My intention here was uh, mashed potatoes. So, this yeah. should be on top of here. Try Fail. the chicken. Try the chicken. Okay, live and learn. Live and learn. Live and learn. Muito bom. Muito bom. So you're confident this is chicken sauce? I think so. It's very, it's very good with the chicken. Chicken sauce. What's better than boiled chicken with sauce? It's My God, it's good. Wow. Mm. It's very smoky. It's very barbecue flavor. It's very barbecue. It tastes like fire. It tastes like it's been cooked on oh, fire. Oh, wood fire. That's right. But uh -huh. I think it's stewed. No? With sauce. It's stewed, but I can taste There's the smoke. The sauce. I'm gonna throw in food over the restaurant. <laughs> Don't take me to a fancy restaurant here. <laughs> I wish I had that on camera. Um, now, Ivana, do you know what this is? This little green thing? Mm. Is this like uh, potentially pickled something? Is it pickled? I think it's like. Uh... No. Do you know what it is? Um, I don't know, but it seems like a um, pumpkin. Green pumpkin. Maybe. Very watery. What I want is more oh, of this, yeah. more of this chicken sauce, it's especially brown, on the right? rice. This brown chicken sauce is incredibly flavorful and tastes like. Uh, what is it? Tastes like barbecue. It tastes like tastes like barbecue sauce, but instead of being from a bottle and fake, it's like real. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. With rice inside, mojo bon. Almost tastes like soy sauce chicken in Asia, but I don't know. Don't you think so? It tastes a bit like soy sauce. Oh, it's very good. Oh my gosh, the sauce of mm -hmm. the chicken is so good. You could just have that and rice, it would be amazing. Just white rice with this sauce. Wow, <laughs> you're becoming Brazilian. Wow, that's good, that's a good flavor. I don't know what this Absolutely five-star chicken sauce. No, the chicken the, the, is five stars. Mm. Actually, the portion is so big. Which is also very Brazilian. Yeah. The portion is very big. We ordered for our 
it's supposed to be for two people, but there are like, I don't know, six pieces of chicken in there, in the pot. <laughs> can go for four people, really. Mm. Wow, that chicken is very good. Oh, try the uh, Absolutely beans. six star chicken. It's ah. amazing. And because it's stewed, it's so soft. Yes, very good. The texture is very good. Wow, the chicken is incredible. Yeah, try the, the beans, the beans dish. Beans, eggs, and tohesmo. Yeah. Did you get the tohesmo? Mm hmm. Good, no? Also good. To be clear, tohesmo by itself is, is amazing. Mm -hmm. Adding beans on top, also good, but tohesmo is still the best by itself. Yeah. So do you think this is different than Brazilian food that you've had in Rio or in Sao Paulo? Good question. Um, it takes... For me, for me, it tastes like comfort food. Like, people say if you go to Minas, it's like going to your grandma's house. This tastes like I'm in a grandma's. Like in home a, cooking. Home cook, yes. Uh -huh. Like home cook. This tastes like I'm in a, my grandmother's house, my Brazilian grandmother's house. <laughs> it's very comforting. You know what I mean? The food is very comforting. Instead of just the usual frango, the milanesa, or things like that, this is different and I love it. Uh -huh. It's very home cooked. Uh -huh. Very comfort. Morto, comfort. Morto, morto mm -hmm. Five stars. Definitely five stars. Mm -hmm. We got the cleanup crew here for Ivana's. Uh... <laughs> All right, so I've realized our mistake from the beginning of the video until now. What I did before was try each ingredient separately. I tried the okra, I tried the mystery green vegetable, I tried the potentially chicken sauce, looks like mashed potatoes thing. This is sort of disrespectful to the Brazilian gastronomy. The right way to do this, even though it's a fancy restaurant, I think it might be the right way to treat it like a kilo restaurant, where you just start smashing it up. So I want to try, you know, put some rice, put some okra, put some mystery green vegetable, put some of that beans and oval, get the kale. You know, this is kind of the more typical, this is the more typical Brazilian fork of food in my experience, especially from a kilo restaurant where you put everything on one plate. It's right, Ivana. <laughs> Mordo bang. Mordo bang. When it's mixed? Mordo bang. <laughs> the kale sort of overpowered it. I'm gonna do it again with no kale. Chicken? You got chicken? No chicken. This is just... Okay, you're right. Let's get some chicken. All right, all right. <laughs> it's better. It's meant to be mixed. Yeah, I think so. Are they so? <laughs> Ooh, the tohesmo in there are very good. Mm. Man, tohesmo was good. Listen, six star eating. Wow. Very good. Oh my gosh. Yo, how is this much food for two people? <laughs> right? This is classic Brazil behavior. This is for four people. Mm -hmm. True, right? Yeah, I mean, look at the leftover. We, we eat finish. less than half of the food. Yes. <laughs> now, to be clear, we did add on the tohesmo as well as this tohesmo. So basically, we added on two servings of tohesmo. But we left behind a lot of food. We're going to take it with us and yeah. go home with it. Rafi agent. That being said, Ivana's got an eye for dessert, mm -hmm. which is pretty wild. <laughs> but first, let's do the final review of the meal. Uh huh. First things first, vote in the comments if you've been to this restaurant before, which I think you have, because it's very highly recommended. Does this taste more like barbecue sauce or soy sauce? Mm. I got barbecue, Ivana's got soy sauce. Right. Vote in the comments. Team, team Steve or Team Ivana? What's uh, in it exactly? I want know. to know. That's what I'm wondering. Uh, second question, we don't know what this is at all. Let us know what that vegetable that is. <laughs> Could be a green tomato, would be my guess. But Third things third, this right here, Ivana and I are pretty sure this is Brazilian mamaliga. This is polenta, some polenta, sort of corn yeah. flour turned into like a mashed potatoes thing, but it's a mashed corn thing. It's very good, yeah. 
it's pretty good. Yeah. I'm a big fan of uh, Polenta and Mamma Liga mm -hmm. from my days in Romania. Let us know if we're right about that. And with all that being said, the lovely Ivana is going to take you on a oh my dessert gosh. tour. How about you? Dessert for Ivana, you? Ivana, I, I made a big mistake. I didn't eat for 24 hours. Uh -huh. and now I'm full so quickly. Yeah, let's see what they Same have. Same thing I did last year at Fogo de Chong. It never learns, this guy. <laughs> it never learns. Go ahead, Ivana. Let's see what you they You bring have. some dessert and I'll help you eat them. Is all I can do. Okay. Can't even stand up. Let's see. So the dessert is more like a you pay per kilo rather than ordering it off the menu. I don't know what they have here. So many choices, but they're like all random things like uh, fruits, sweet fruits, some kind of porridge at the front, uh, pie. And lime. Uh, oh, they got cheese as dessert as well. Wow. Quotage. Uh, what is this one? Ah, figo. Huh? It's a fruit. Fruit. Okay, I'll try one. Fig. Oh, fig. Okay. And which one is your favorite? Mm, it's good. Pudding. Pudding. Doce de leite. Okay, doce de leite. Uh, just a little bit. And pudding. A little, a little bit of the maracuja with coconut. Okay. Yeah. Cocada de maracuja. Okay. Very good. That's it. Muito obrigado. Thank you. Oh, muito bom. There you go. Oh, like a green. Uh... It's fig. Fig. Yeah. Normally, fig is brown or purple, but this is green. Brown. By the way, I went back for more chicken. <laughs> I thought you were full, but you keep eating. I was full, and then yeah. I changed my mind. I think it tastes more like soy sauce. You may be right, Ivana. <laughs> barbecue soy sauce. Barbecue yes, it makes. Okay, let's have I don't think it's barbecue sauce. I don't think it's soy sauce. I think it's just yeah. its own Mignano specialty. Sauce. Yeah, <laughs> mineral sauce. Okay, let me have dessert now. And some mineral coffee, uh, by the way. It smells so good. It's so strong. Oh, it's hot. Wow, oh, it's strong. <laughs> It makes you. It makes me up. <laughs> oh my gosh, espresso, right? Mmm, like espresso. Mineros espresso. Mm -hmm. By the way, look at the dessert I got. Uh, I'm very interested in all of them. I asked the guy who was serving the dessert area which one was his favorite, and he said the pudding. So I have to get the pudding. So let's try the pudding first. Let's oh wait, 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 wait! Do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Jiggle the pudding. Ooh. Oh, that's a pretty jiggly pudding. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Oh my gosh, the food is not toy, but it's fun to play with. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so good. Are you sure you don't want dessert? This is so good. Mm. Mm -mm. With coffee? Oh, that pudding looks like it would be good with coffee. Yeah, the pudding tastes like caramel and milk and vanilla, and it's really soft and it just melts in your mouth. And you wash it down with some. Oh, yeah. Yeah, espresso. Now, this one interests me. Look at this one. Uh, hold on, let's guess what it is. Do you know what it is? You know what this is? I think you can guess from the look of it. It looks like potato sticks. <laughs> Oh, it looks like maracuja. Uh, maracuja. Maracuja, yes. Maracuja. And, and raisins. Coconut. 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 Shredded coconut with maracuja. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is the greatest thing I have ever tasted. What? It's so good. What? Mm, you must try it. What did you do? Well, to be clear, you love. Medicuja. Mm -hmm. What would you call that? Medicuja tart? Dumpling? What is it? Um, Medicuja and coconut. But it's a soda. But they cook it or they just. Oh my god. You gotta try it. 
Try it and try the other stuff. Is that good? Yes. Try the maracuja, man. All right. To be clear, Yvonne loves maracuja more than me. Uh, how do they stick it together? Like sugar, no? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Too bad, I think. But it's so good. It's sweet, but it's good. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> It's very good. The, oh fragrance, God, it's very good. the fragrance is very very nice and sweet, but not too sweet. That's amazing. And sourness is very good. With the coconut flavor, oh my gosh. It's heaven, no? That's one of the best desserts I ever had. Yeah! <laughs> oh, we should say six stars. Oh my gosh, yes. The flavor is wow. unbelievable. I almost taste... um. Hello, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Minas people, they're so nice. I was gonna say, nice people in Minas all around. Uh, that's those the lake. And that's all it is. That's it. So, like I said earlier, last mm -hmm. video, Deutsche Lage is essentially condensed milk. Yes. That is cooked. Yes. But something like this would not be just condensed milk cooked. Yes. It would be a total unique recipe yeah. to make a really, really delicious Dolce Leche. This is one of the things I've been looking forward to in uh, Minas. Mm -hmm. Try it. How is it? Very good. Uh, I think we can combine this with this. Oh, that's I a good idea. I might be going off script here. But this might be the greatest good thing. Good idea. Don't finish the maracuja, man. I want another bite of that. The maracuja is best by itself. <laughs> the maracuja is good. Maracuja is very good, though. Okay, try the fig. It's like, it's like oh. caramel. Finish? Yes, but can we bring um, it home? Prafiaggi. Uh, okay. Prafiaggi. Yeah. Prafiaggi. Yes. Yes. Uh, Thank you. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good one, Ivana. Probably, I, yes. just, I forgot. Okay, last but not least. Um, the fig? I feel like it's one bite, but I want to give you some. Get half. You say you don't want dessert, and now you're going to finish my, my dessert, mind. okay? People can change, Ivana. <laughs> um, half? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's just big. Oh. It's just big. It's very good. Cool. Is it like sour and I sugar? I think it's soaked in sugar oh, and okay. water. All right. I thought it was just stuffed with like rice or something. I thought it was stuffed with something. <laughs> I thought it was like a, a fig shell with stuff right, inside. Right, right, right. Uh, good. Right. Cut the other half. Well, <laughs> okay, okay, let me, let me have this. You had the maracuja. <laughs> I was afraid, I'm, I'm, afraid, I'm afraid Steve will finish the maracuja and coconut because that one is... Ivana, they got a whole table full table. over there. We can get more. <laughs> wow. Interesting, because fig, I think it's young fig or something. Young fig with uh, just soaked in sugar. Yeah. Quite yummy. Because normally fig texture isn't like this. It's very seedy. Yes. You know, this is very, I don't know, very, I can't explain it. The texture is like potato or something. <laughs> but it's sweet. Good texture, very refreshing and sweet. Good, but very good. Favorite thing, the maracuja with coconut that surprised me. Oh, 100%. So good. Everything, the food here is five stars. Oh my gosh, so good. Really highly recommended. This tastes like home cooked food. It's like the best food on earth. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yes, it, it feels like home cooked food. Very yeah. hearty. Very, very good. Best restaurant. Moi uh, Dobong. I think we got to go back for more maracuja dessert. Oh. I should say maracuja dessert. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Food's so good. I'm walking with a limp. I'm actually so full, I can't walk straight. What is this? Tell me this is a souvenir shop at a restaurant. It is, right? Oh, check it out. Food's so good, you buy a souvenir so you can uh, remember it forever. Wow. Muy to bon. I like this place. Mostly wooden stuff. This almost looks like something that you would sit on and carve a coconut. You know those little things? Those coconut carver stands? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not, it's more like a decoration. Okay, muy to bon. 
All right. Oof. I saw this in the street. Koti. Oh. Koti. That looks like an ant. No, that's a proper anteater. Anyway, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching our video. I feel like I'm uh, drunk on food. <laughs> oh my gosh. This place is beautiful. It's worth the visit just for to see the place. Uh huh. But most of all, because of the food. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I'm limping. What's this? Some kind of plant. Some kind of plant. All right, there you have it, guys. Later. <laughs>